questioning the Bible's views on miscarriages, and it can relate to abortion. So I will be reading from my uh, Life Application Study Bible. This is the one I've been reading. I am on uh, Exodus 20, 27, I think. So that, that's where I am in the book. I'm going from Genesis to Revelations. I've actually done a few Bible books already, a uh, few Bible videos already, but uh, I haven't posted them because I don't think they're very good. Hopefully this one will be short and sweet, and hopefully I'll do these more short and sweet until I actually uh, feel like I can do the long cutscenes, because it, it, there's a lot of stuff to go over in the Bible already, even just getting, you know, as far as I've gotten. So the passage I would like to read to you is um, Exodus 22 through, um, yeah, 24. Now suppose two men are fighting, and in the process they accidentally strike a pregnant woman so she gives birth prematurely. If no further injury results, the man who struck the woman must pay the amount of compensation the woman's husband demands and judges approve. But if there is further injury and punishment must match the injury, a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a hand for a hand, a foot for a foot. So this is where you get the famous eye for an eye. The thing I like to point out is that if, if you um, cause a miscarriage, you pay shekels. If you kill the woman, you die. Interesting. Isn't the Bible basically telling us that a fetus is not equivalent to a human life? And if a fetus is not equivalent to a human life, then why would we want to give the fetus equal rights to a human? So anyone who is pro-life is not pro-life because of the Bible. They're pro-life from some other preconceived idea, which may or may not be valid, but they should not say the Bible is validating their point. There might be passages that actually vindicate being pro-life, but now you just have inconsistent passages, inconsistent book, contradictory passages. So, I mean, it is pretty clear, I think, that the Bible thinks that miscarriage is not that bad. It can be paid with shekels. I've read other translations where it's like somewhere around 20 to 30 shekels. I mean, this has obviously been, been trans, translated in such a way that it says whether judges agree on whatever. Basically, you pay shekels when you have a miscarriage, and you pay with your life when you kill someone. Fetuses are not equivalent to humans, according to the Bible. Don't let anyone fool you. And if a Christian does take a pro life stance with you, pull out Exodus um, 22, 22. Yeah, that is Exodus 22, 22 through 24. And you can demonstrate very quickly that the Bible's view on abortion is uh, not quite so consistent with pro-life. And um, that's about all there is to say about it. I think that that very well demonstrates that the Bible's views are quite different than the pro-lifers. So that, that's all I want to say. Quick and to the point. See ya.